Christmas, bitch. What's up, you guys? It's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to the first official video of the 2022 holiday season. Let's just take a quick second to discuss how the f is it the holidays? I'm feeling very uncomfortable with the rate at which time is passing as of late. It feels as though it was just Christmas last year. What the f happened this year? It's November. What day is it? November 11th. We're nearing mid-November. I feel like the entire past year I just like was blacked out for the whole thing. I don't remember what happened. Anyway, so today's video is going to be my 2022 holiday wish list. This is gonna be the list that I'm going to be sending to my mom directly after I film this that has all the details of everything on my Christmas list this year. And of course, I did in fact make a presentation. I will be including links to everything that I talk about in the description if you are interested in maybe putting any of these things on your list as well or gifting them to other people. Before I actually start this, let me just give you the rundown on how I made this in case anybody else wants to make a presentation as well. I think these are so fun and they're so convenient. They have all the details that whoever it is, Santa or whatever, needs in order to get exactly the thing that you want. So let me give you a quick tutorial on how I did this. So I did it on Canva, which if you don't have Canva, you need Canva. You can make a free account. When you get onto the website, there is gonna be an option that says presentation. So you just click that. And then I just did the presentation 16 by nine. It brings up a blank template. So then on the templates tab on the left-hand side, up to a little search bar and type in Christmas, holiday, whatever it is that you want. For the template that I found and used, I typed in Christmas. And then there are so many. There are a lot of free ones. There are some that are for pro, but just pick whatever one speaks to you. Even if it's not necessarily like a Christmas wish list template format already, you can use any of these festive pretty ones and make them into a Christmas wish list. Then once I found the one that I wanted, I just added all the pages I needed. So that is the template basic setup. So then when you export this, I think I did it as like a PDF to test it out to send it to my mom and see if the links worked. The links are clickable. So pro tip for that, you can export it as a PDF, email it, text it, whatever to whoever you want to share it with. That is my crash course tutorial on how to make a holiday wishlist presentation in Canva. Thank you so much for listening to that. And now we can get into my actual list and the presentation. I hope you're all comfy and cozy. Grab a snack, grab a notepad if you want to, to take notes during this presentation. I hope that this is helpful or at least somewhat interesting to watch. I love watching these. It'll be like 2040. If this website is still up, I will be watching Christmas videos from 2014 you can count on it. Let's begin. I feel like I'm back to my college days. I liked making presentations in college because I made them look really cute and I got like a high, like an adrenaline high from presenting them, even if my class was like 20 people. Welcome all to my Christmas wish list 2022. This is going to be a holiday presentation by me, Hannah. Let's get started. I am sending this to my mom. I think I said that. Hi bestie, hey queen whatever greeting you prefer. Here's a list of the things I'm asking for this Christmas. Also wanna note this is not an exhaustive list. I would be eternally grateful to receive anything at all because as an adult, I don't like asking for shit for Christmas. It makes me feel awkward. I know that I can buy all of these things myself, but they're just things that maybe I haven't gotten around to buying or they just might be more fun as gifts. And if my mother in particular would be interested or Santa, in getting me any of these things, I would be so grateful, but I would also be grateful to receive like a piece of bread if my mother gave it to me and was excited about it. So, and also thank you in advance from the bottom of my heart. Let's get on with the list. I have 25 items in this list and also everything is under $100. I didn't do that on purpose at first. I got through the first like 20 items and I realized that they were all under $100. So then for the last five, when I was like trying to come up with more ideas, I just like stuck with the theme. Some of these things are so mundane, <laughs> but they're just actually things that I like need or have wanted to try. Oh shit, actually, technically there are 26 items on this list. Number one, we have a pajama set. So like I just said, this is part one, obviously, because it has a top and a bottom. Every year, as a lot of people do, I think, we open our pajamas the night before. Usually they're like a festive theme or whatever. I think we did this more when I was a kid and when we all still lived at home under one roof, but now, Obviously I don't live at home and my brother is in college, but I like to keep this going and I always ask for pajamas for Christmas and I like to wear them on Christmas Eve. It just, I don't know, 
going with the tradition, it makes me feel so festive and fun. This is the top that I'm choosing this year or requesting, I should say. This is how I'm requesting from Abercrombie, which has like become one of my favorite brands over the past year. I thought that this teal color would be like a nice festive color, you know, red and green vibes, and I just really liked it. The link, by the way, if you click it, it does in fact work. Isn't that beautiful? Teal, the price, and the store, and the photo of it. So there's literally no guesswork. We're taking out all of the guesswork with this presentation, and it makes it very easy. Next, this is part two of the pajama set, these cute shorts that match the shirt. I mean, it's just, I love it. Next, I have been seeing this everywhere. An issue that I have is that literally nine times out of 10, if I put makeup on and then I go out and socialize or just literally do anything outside, I will either A, sweat it off, B, for some reason when I talk a lot in like a social situation, I'll go to the bathroom like two hours in and I'm like, where the f did my makeup go? It just like evaporates off my face. I have been recommended this specific primer for my reasoning i literally put i'm tired of my makeup always coming off like what what more needs to be said that is so, it's so annoying <laughs> next i have a clear mascara i want to try this because i don't like wearing mascara i'm wearing it today which wow my eyelashes look long i don't like wearing mascara because again when i put it on and then i go out of my home it just comes off either like melts down to like the bottom and then it looks like i'm exhausted or it just like flakes off i don't know it's just annoying i never wear it but my eyelashes have gotten so long. So I wanna try a clear mascara and see if maybe I can just take advantage of my naturally longer lashes, not have to worry about like the mascara color coming off, if that makes sense. Again, this is something I could buy myself, but it's just, it would be more fun to like unwrap it. I think it's the unwrapping that I really like. Put anything in wrapping paper and I'm hype as f to unwrap it. This next thing, all right, this is a funny story. I put this on my Christmas list. When I was making it, this is obviously one of the first things I put on this list. And then wouldn't you know it, I receive a package the other day. I was not expecting it. I had no idea that it was coming. Tell me why I got it in PR. I'm gonna cry because I was so excited. I just was like, that is so kind and so crazy because I was just thinking about it. So I left this on here. Obviously I'm not asking for it anymore because I did get it, but I left it on here because I thought it would be a good idea for anyone else out there watching. I love this so much. So you may have heard of like the five minute journal. This is sort of like that, but it's like in a different font and it's by Lavendaire, which is a company that I love. They have other notebooks and planners and journals and stuff like that. Here's a little example of what this journal is all about. You can pause this to read. There is a morning and a night portion. So you just take a couple minutes out of your morning to fill out the top portion and it just kind of gets you in a good mindset for the day. It generates positive thoughts, which is always a good thing to start the day. The bottom, you just take a couple minutes at night and you fill out the prompts on kind of like a reflection of your day. And it's all surrounding joy and finding joy in your day, finding joy in little moments. And I just think this is awesome. I think it'll be an awesome gift. Next. I don't know what order I put these in, so every time I click, I just have no idea what I'm gonna get. Okay, these are sick. I'm asking for these for no other reason other than I just think they're sick. These are like the aloe socks. They're like kind of a retro vibe. Isn't it so funny how as kids, if I got socks or underwear for Christmas, I was like, for real? <laughs> and now I'm asking for socks and underwear. Like I have another slide on here that has underwear on. <laughs> oh, okay. I've been wanting this for so long. I'm pretty sure I put this on my Christmas wish list last year. Maybe this will be the year. This is a Barefoot Dreams blanket. This is from Nordstrom Rack. I hear amazing things and I'm a cozy bitch. I do love to have everything cozy in my apartment. Every detail of this place is centered around being cozy and homey. I just think that this would be a nice thing to get and I would very much love it. Oh, okay. I was browsing Anthropology's website the other day because they just did their whole like holiday revamp. There's like the gifts and shit on there, which side note, but Anthropology at the holiday time is one of my favorite things in the world. I just love their holiday stuff. I love their sweaters. I love all of their like gift boxes. These are birthstone hoop earrings. They're so pretty. They're just little hoops, a set of three, and they all match and they all have my birthstone, which for April is diamond. Obviously they're not like real diamonds, but they're so gorgeous. And I do in fact have three earring holes. So I could wear them all together, like as a stack, which I thought would be cool. I'm a sucker for a gift set. It's just the marketing of it all gets me every single time. It's just gonna do it for me every time. I'm a sucker for a curated gift set of any kind. I can't explain it. Something about it just makes me wanna buy it. <laughs> so. 
I did in fact say there were underwear on this list. These slap. I got a couple of pairs of these when I worked with Nagui. They quickly became my favorite underwear. I don't know if this is like weird or TMI to share, but whatever. These underwear are so comfortable. They're so like breathable. My dryer did in fact ruin one of the two pairs that I had. I don't know how. My dryer is very iffy, but it like burned them and like melted. So now I'm only down to one pair and I love these. I would be more than freaking happy to receive underwear for Christmas if it is these. Next, yeah. I've been wanting to try Skims Bralette for way too long and I just have never bought one, but I really want like a skin tones one that will like match me so I can wear it under like white shirts and it like won't look like I'm wearing a bra, like you won't be able to see that outline and stuff. I just feel like it'll go under like everything and I would probably wear it every single day because I don't wear real bras ever. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for this. Next, I have a lip liner. I'm obsessed with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk liner, but I kind of want like a browner toned one. The Pillow Talk is very like rosy, which is beautiful, but I want to try out another one. I really like these liners. Oh, okay, okay. These, these bitches. I love these. I received these in PR from Florence by Mills, which extremely grateful for. I used them all um, because I literally put them on every time I do makeup, or even if I'm like extra puffy in the morning, they're like under eye, de-puffing, hydrating gel pads, like basically little under eye masks. I love these. They slay, as I wrote, they slay so hard. I ran out of mine and I need more. I love them. These are so good. Now, I feel like if you are on the internet, specifically TikTok, you've probably seen at least one video of someone curling their hair with these like roller thingies. I wanna try it. I wanna try it out for myself and see if it works for me. So, you know, that's that's it. I went on a little bit of a hair binge here with these. Next, I saw these cool hair clips. These are from the same brand as these hair rollers. And I just wanted to get some of these to like pin my hair back when I'm doing my makeup. I have like a headband, but I don't know. I kinda wanted to switch it up and try these clips instead. These are so cute. And they're only $8. You can get them at Target. This is my favorite pillowcase. Again, this is by the same brand as the last two things. It's the satin pillowcase. It's supposed to be better for like your skin and your hair. I only have one of the actual like kitsch ones and then I bought a bunch of other ones from like Amazon. But the reason I like this one is so much is because it has a zipper on the side. So it, your pillow doesn't move around in it and it doesn't like slip off. This isn't something I necessarily am in dire need of because I do have some other ones, but I just love the closure on the side and it's honestly just so much more convenient. Now this next thing, I didn't even know that this existed. I was browsing on Sephora, trying to see if there was anything else that I didn't know that I needed, and I came across this, a neck serum. <laughs> Apparently, you're supposed to like apply it to your neck, obviously, and it's supposed to help firm the skin on your neck. In the description, they talked about tech neck. Never have heard of that, but I guess that's just like from looking down at computers all the time. I don't know how that affects your skin, but if it, Apparently it does, allegedly. And I read the reviews because I was like, there's no way this is a thing. There's no way. I read the reviews and people were like raving about this stuff. It's really freaking expensive, but this brand I've seen a lot lately, Necessaire, is, I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm really interested in this because if this works, that's a game changer. I feel like when I'm vlogging, if I have like an unflattering angle of my neck, it's all that I see, which I know is so stupid. It doesn't matter, but I don't know, it's just something that I pay attention to and I don't like it. If this could do something about that, that would be so elite. So this is a thing. If you didn't know, now you know. I wear a white purse with almost everything I wanna say. I have one that I bought from Pretty Little Thing, I wanna say like two years ago maybe. And it's just so dingy looking at this point. I've cleaned it. I use a Mr. Clean Like Magic Eraser to clean it, but it, I feel like it's at the point of no return. So I just kind of would really like a new true white purse. I wear my Air Forces a lot and my White Commerce a lot. This one also kind of looks like the Prada one, just in the shape, the body, the way the body sh is shaped is kind of similar to the Prada. I wanna say it's the Clio bag. Yeah, it is. Oh my God, I'm so smart. But obviously it's not Prada price because that, I am not buying that. It would definitely go to good use. When I said some of these items were mundane, this is what I meant. A baster, like a turkey baster, with the little suction that you like, pull like the juices up. Ew, ew, I don't like the word juices. Juices up and then like squirt it. I don't, ew, ew, this whole description is making me very itchy. This is just like a 
kitchen essential I feel like it's nice to have and you never know that you need it until you I don't have an oven though so I'm not gonna like make a whole ass turkey but what this would be sick for is my dishwasher. Every like couple months or so, the filter gets clogged with stuff. The thing that alerts me that, that needs to be washed out is after I run it, there will be like a lot of standing water in the dishwasher at the bottom. And then I always have to get it out with like a cup or something, just like scoop it out. But this would be so convenient to just like squeeze it and get all the water out so much faster so that I can wash the filter. That's really my main, the main thing I would use this for. Yeah, I'm asking for one of these. I don't know why I haven't bought one also. Let me just say that, I don't know why. I just haven't. These are so cool to me. If you don't know what Homesick Candle is, it's like a brand where they have candles and specific scents for different states. They have a whole collection of like every state and a scent for each state. And then they also have certain cities. So obviously I live in New York City and I think it would be really cool to have the New York City candle. I think this would be a really cool gift just in general. Obviously I'm asking for this because I really want one for myself, but you could get one for whoever in your life. There's literally one for every single state. There's even some colleges on there, which would be also a really cool gift for somebody. I love candles though. You guys know me. You guys know this. I mean, I don't really have to say it. So yes, I have matcha powder that I would love to use. I love matcha. I love drinking matcha, but I just Feel that I don't have the right tools in order to make a good cup of matcha. I have been seeing people lately talking about the bamboo whisk, matcha whisk, and it makes it taste better and stuff. So I want to make the best quality drinks that I can make at home because then I don't have to like go out and get it somewhere. So I'm saving money in the long run. I was looking for matcha sets and at first I was just looking on Amazon because I'm obviously they have like a million on there. But then I thought, why don't I go on Etsy and see if there are any handmade ones from small businesses. I love Etsy. It's literally one of my favorite websites. It's one of my favorite places to go to look for pretty much anything. And I have a couple things from Etsy on this list. So I did end up finding this set. It comes with these four pieces in the picture. It's so pretty and it's handmade from small business. It has all the supplies that I need. Next, I actually was at Anthropology the other day and I saw these and I accidentally picked up one that wasn't an H. It had like some random letter on it and I was like, well, my name starts with an H. So I went on their website and I saw that they still have them on their website and they have H's on there. I would really like a spoon rest for my kitchen. First of all, this one's so cute and of course it has pink accents, which is perfect because it's my favorite color. I love these like ceramic pieces from Anthropology. I just feel like they're so cute and unique and fun. Becoming an adult is asking for shit like this for Christmas, <laughs> like housewares and stuff and being like genuinely excited about it. What more is there to say? This is another Etsy find, of course. I fucking love Etsy. So this is a pill case for like putting in your purse. I always like to bring Tylenol or whatever with me when I am going out and about because you never know when you're gonna get a headache. I just put them in a little like plastic bag and just throw it in my purse, but I feel like this would be so nice. I think that it also has two compartments in another picture, but this is a Schitt's Creek themed one, which that's one of my favorite shows ever. David is literally my favorite character. He's so funny, but says I'm on day two of a panic attack. It's just so on brand. And how is it only $8? That's a steal. Are you guys for real right now? I wrote, I need this for obvious reasons. Enough said. This is another very like adult thing to ask for, but new washcloths. I have some that I got last year and they are quite literally so dingy at this point. They're just not it. They just look gross. They were like super cheap, which is why I got them when I first moved in, but I need new ones and I would really like to try some like higher quality ones and see if they hopefully ideally would last me longer. I would be so stoked to get these. I would just feel so luxurious using these. Recently, I bought like a little cute wallflower thingy for my bathroom, it's a little succulent, it's so cute. I love having my wallflower in there. It just smells so freaking nice. And I don't know, I feel again, like more luxurious. It's the little things. Pretty sure that this is the scent that I got when I got my first batch of wallflower scents. I believe this is the one that I put in it first and I loved it so much. It just smelled so fresh and clean and I obviously ran out of it. I think this is the one, the fresh linen because there's also a fresh cotton. So I'm like, did, was it cotton or linen? I don't remember, but I'm sure that both of them would be good. And they also have a two pack of fresh cotton. So I put on here a note, like if they for some reason didn't have the linen one, I would take the fresh cotton two pack or both if you're feeling crazy. 
Ooh, we're getting down to the last couple things. We're getting down to the end here, folks. Of course, I'm asking for a book. I asked for a book last Christmas. I asked for the Inheritance Games, and I ended up loving that series. Just love reading, it makes me so happy. It's always fun to get a book for Christmas because then I feel like I can just cuddle up later in the day or like the next day and like read it. Snuggling up with like my barefoot, stop, wait the barefoot dreams blanket with like a cup of hot chocolate with like a shit ton of marshmallows and then reading this oh my god so anyway i'm asking for this book i've seen people talk about this one and i love a good mystery book i read the description and it sounds like something that would be right up my alley and then i love getting like physical books because i can oh this would be a good gift idea too give me a second so i got this stamp this is not even on the list but if you i'll put the link for this down below too because i think this will be a really cool gift for somebody in your life that likes to read it says from the library of and then hannah like my name i got this from etsy of course see so i love stamping this on all of my books it's just fun. I think this next thing is the last thing on my list. This is kind of an anticlimactic ending, but also nothing on this list was like too crazy. So it kind of just fits the theme. This two pack of short sleeve bodysuits from Abercrombie. Like I said, Abercrombie is one of my favorite places to shop right now. Their revamp has been so good. I love their stuff. It's great quality and I have a ton of it. These are two things I feel like I could really, really use. They're staples and I could also wear them year round and they're not crop tops, <laughs> which is always good to have for more dressed up or professional setting. You don't want to like have your whole ass stomach out. So I just think these would be really nice to have. Would get a shit ton of use out of them. Yeah. That is it for my presentation. Merry Christmas, I love you. Mom, dad, Santa, whoever is reading this list for me. Love you guys so much. Thank you in advance for your consideration. Thank you in general for your love. And thank you to all of you for sitting and listening to my presentation today. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope you found it entertaining. If you have any follow-up questions for me in regards to my presentation, you can feel free to leave any of those below. As I said, I will have links for everything that I just talked about in the description. I'm so happy that the holiday videos are back. You guys know that I love a good holiday video. I love making like a cozy, warm feeling video. And that's what all the holidays are all about to me. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you stay until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just want to get, oh my God, I talk so fast. If you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just want to get notified when I post a new video, make sure to turn on my post notifications for my channel, the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I hopefully will see you guys in the next video. Bye.